Yo! I don't know what episode no- number one, but you know. I don't. Whatever. You might. Like, I don't know. Something like number four. Something like that. Yeah. Squeegee's Mansion! Yeah! Yeah! I'm done. I'm Rob. And uh, he's Luigi. And we've got two out of 50 booze. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <gasps> I am the Yoshi. Bootylicious. For some reason, I wanted to say bootylicious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. My man, you're bootylicious, boy, babe. Bootylicious. Do you want to see something fun? Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, it's gone all Matrix. How does that work? I don't know. Mirrors. <laughs> Mirrors. Oh. I want a Game Boy Horror. So do I. Is that an actual like screenshot of an actual Game Boy? Because it looked rather real. But the the side. Yeah, I think it is. I think it renders into a picture. Quiet you. Quiet you, ghosty. Yeah, I like Game Boy. Be just, you just, all you need is one of those see-through purple Game Boy colours. And then, uh... I'm going to eBay it. I bet some Negroes done it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Excuse me, mousey. What's it called? Game Boy. I didn't get the blue ghost for There you go. Nintendo Game Boy Color Horror Replacement Screen Lens. You I want just it. put the lens in it. And I've got that Game Boy. Have you? That, the see through purple one. Is there anything else actually doing here? How much is it? 14 quid. What for just that? Yeah, it's only the lens. But it depends whether it's. Luigi's Mansion game has protective film. Yeah, it's fully. It's made from scratch. Right. Luigi, <laughs> no! Up out of this now! Suck my anus! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> I love it. It was in the direction I was expecting that to go in, but you know. It made me happy anyway. Luigi's Mansion sealed. 119 pounds. That's just for about 20 quid. Yeah, that's. Now that I'm earning bare money, I'm going to get a pay increase next year. <sighs> and the year after that. That won't work for you. You know, as an apprentice, yeah. in my fourth year, I'll be on 19 grand. That's not bad. That's fucking beautiful. You can come and work for me if you want. I'll get you through the test. They're not on. Can I, uh, can I just work for you? Like as your personal assistant. <laughs> PA? Yeah. Oh, I, did. I ordered uh, Ellie's cake yesterday. Alright. I did commission. This. This will be that long. And then it's got Sam and Dean as pop vinyls. Oh! With her in the middle. Oh! <laughs> and then it's like grass and then a road. And I've got the, their car as a model. Right. Um, to sit on the road. And then it's got Castiel with his angel wings as a pop vinyl stood next to the car. <laughs> well, that's what that's what I, it will be like. Like I say, I'm not making it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fuck that shit. Now that's going to be mint. But then it's going to be on a bigger base so I can put candles around the outside. Because I didn't want to put them in the key. Yeah, that's gonna be mint. But she keeps trying to get out of me what. <laughs> what it is. Like, what sort of. what's happening. <laughs> and I, I keep telling her it's a fancy dress party. Yeah, I keep saying it's a fancy dress party. I think we're all at work saying it's a fancy dress party. I'm saying it was like a jungle book themed one. <laughs> That is the room from Resident Evil. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. I'm flummoxed in Luigi's Mansion already. What the fudge sickles? Ah, Lumiere has taken one too many disco biscuits. <laughs> Burn yeah, you get um, like you can you get like things you can blow out your vacuum. You press L, you blow stuff out. And you can get fire because you know vacuum cleaners and fire. Yeah, why not? Did you play the second one? What Luigi's Mansion? Yeah, I've got it. I started it. Ages ago, when I like, I got it for my birthday years ago, and I started it, and it's fucking ace. But I just stop. You know what I'm like with games. I'm the same. Just stop playing. <laughs> You've only got to look at a link to the past for that. You didn't sound like you were enjoying that, though. No, I was. I wouldn't say I was like enjoying it. Like I would enjoy something like Uncharted. Mm. But I was intrigued by it, but I got to that weird spinny ass guy and you have to bop him on his tail and I kept dying. <laughs> it's just like, come here. Oh, the snake. Yeah, guy. I will. I will do it at some point. It's when I can be bothered. But it wasn't long, I remember. It wasn't long after I played Chrono Trigger. So I'd gone straight from one RPG to another. Yeah. Yeah, and Chrono Trigger is fucking ace. I love Chrono Trigger. Uh oh, you're going downstairs. Let's go catch some booze. I can't remember what to do. I'm missing a key. He's probably told me something and I wasn't paying attention to his dialogues. I am Boo, if you please. Bamboo. All their names are like puns. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's one thing I don't like about Nintendo games. A lot of them, like this, especially this age, it's text yeah. rather than speaking. I still need to buy Dalmatians 3. Why do you need to buy Dalmatians? Because I need, because I want it in my collection. So if anybody goes, "What's the worst game you've ever played?" I can say that, and then show can, them. And then I can get ETR and go. It's worse than that. <laughs> yeah, ET gets a bad rap. ET is not a bad game. It well, it is a bad game, but it's not the worst game I've ever played by any. I would say like the last COD is probably worse. <laughs> It's the thing with E.T. is it is just it get, it's responsible for a crash. Yeah, but it's not though, is it's it? It's not E.T. itself. It's Atari putting it, too much faith yeah. in it, and then them just having. And it's the fact that Atari at the time had no competition either. No, it was just, so you've got a stale market, and then you release a game which is based on a film which was you know won Best Picture. No, was nominated for Best Picture. 
and then the game is not that great. Well, it's on a fucking Atari. It was never going to be great, was exactly. it? But his little ticka 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 and his little penis is brilliant. <laughs> and as far as I'm aware, it's the game also that invented the Easter egg. Oh. Because you can go down one of the holes and you can get one of the plants from your uh, one of the aliens from Yar's Revenge in it, and he flies off into the sky. Because <laughs> the dude who makes it, it was like one dude, wasn't it, who mm. made it, and he only had like six weeks or something. Didn't yeah, he? I wouldn't be able to make that in six weeks. Steven Be- Steven Spielberg himself played it and genuinely liked it. It gets, it does get a bad rap, but there's worse games even on the Atari. Like the Pac-Man's pretty shit. Yeah, I think that's actually the other thing that's um, responsible for the big crash and everything. It's Pac-Man because they promised this big, the best version of Pac-Man. And it's not the best version of Pac-Man. Is clearly the arcade game. It's got yeah. Space Invaders in it as well. I love space and baby. I'm shit at it. I get to like the second level. <laughs> Why didn't you go to the washroom and splash in your face? I don't. And I think as well. I think space invaders. Oh, here we go. I think space invaders invented the difficulty curve, didn't it? Because um, you know, like the speed that it runs at when there's like two of them on the screen. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to run at all the time. But because it's, it's got to load so many, mm. it can't do it very quick. Mm. So obviously, it does it slowly, and then as you take them out, it's not got to load it, so it gets quicker because it's not got to load them. But it's supposed to run at that fast speed at all the time. Because most old games though used to have a difficulty curve, didn't they? Yeah, they'd get harder as they went on. Pac-Man and stuff like that. Well, Pac-Man just crashes, doesn't it? It gets so far. The kill screen. They've made a Pac-Man game recently, I think, or they're making one. Um, Which is all about the kill screen. And it's basically just a really glitched up version of Pac-Man. It's quite interesting. I did like the Championship Edition of Pac-Man, though. That was ace. Is that on Xbox? Yeah. Yeah, I've got that. It's great. Where it's just just fucking neon colours and all sorts of crazy ass shit. Yes, yeah, so I've got that. I think that came on the, like, the Xbox arcade disc yeah. that I've got. Yeah, it was one of them with like that Peggle. Is it Peggle? Yeah, it came with a couple of things on it. It's great, that is. Pac-Man. A waka waka. Mm-hmm. You can get Pac-Man pop finals as well. I'm going to get them after Big Trouble in Little Charmer. So L got me low pan, glow in the dark low pan for our anniversary. Hey, David Lopez! Hey, David Lopez! That's all the Ant Man you got there. Did you? On the Ant. On um, Anthony. Anthony, that's it. That's fucking beautiful. There was. Well, it, I got it from Birmingham when I had to go to that induction thing. Mm. If we're ever up that way, I'll take you to that store. I think it's called Nostalgia and Comics. Yeah. And it's. It's like Forbidden Planet, but better. Cause like you could you could literally just sit and is it near the ballroom? Yeah, yeah, we'll go sometime. We'll have a, a day out. <laughs> a book in Birmingham. I don't think I've ever been so big. Nice to have a wander around, maybe. I'd have to go back to Derby again as well. Go to yeah, Rich World, Rich World, World, and come with new ones called now. But yeah, yeah. But anywho, we shall uh, end this episode here. I think. Yeah. Uh, see you on the next flip side thing, yo.